Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today I have a very special guest here, my daughter, Saray. So she had this great idea that she would turn me into her on her channel, which will be linked below. And so today I'm turning her into me on my channel. So this is a fun one. I hope you guys will stick around. Go ahead and subscribe to her channel if you're new here. Hey, I'm Missy. Welcome. This is my makeup, lifestyle, and beauty channel. And let's just jump right into this video. I'm going to go ahead and prep her skin before applying the makeup. And in the meantime, I want her to tell us a little bit more about her channel. Go ahead. We're listening. My channel is mainly centered around beauty and I'm going to verge into fashion content as well once I start doing clothing videos. Since I'm just getting started, I just have an unboxing video and I also have a Q&A, but I have a lot of content preparing for my channel right now. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little moisturizer and some eye cream. Which moisturizer is this? That's a La Mer moisturizer, so not the most affordable, Bougie. but <laughs> really great for hydrating the skin. Little eye cream, one of my favorite brands, Algenist. Look up for me. Okay, so the skin is prepped and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply her foundation. What are we using for foundation today? This is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC55. NC55. For primer, I'm going in with this Hourglass Mineral Veal Primer, and I'm doing that because she has acne prone skin and this is a little mattifying. It also blurs as well. So she's getting the total bougie treatment today. I'm gonna let the primer sit on her face for about a minute or so, and then I'll apply the foundation. So that's our foundation right here. So I'm just gonna blend it out. Let's move on to brows, and for brows, I'm going in with this Revolution Pro Brow Pencil in dark brown. I'm gonna comb her brow hairs in place, and I'm gonna fill it in. Instagram brows. I'm not gonna fill it in too much because she really doesn't like that really full, thick brows that I love. All right, so I'm just gonna move on to the other brow. So I'm gonna clean up her brows a little bit using a little concealer. I'll pick some up with a flat brush. I'm gonna drag it down to her lids as well to prepare for the eyeshadow. Okay, one brow down. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow. So brows done. They're definitely sisters and not twins. Just setting it in place. So why did you decide to start a YouTube channel? I decided to start because I thought, I found it intriguing that a lot of people were doing creative hustles and they had some sort of outlet as far as their skills and something they can use to brush up on their skills and reach people. So especially with the new year, I decided why not give it a shot? Okay. Yeah, why not indeed? I'm just gonna use some clear brow gel to hold the brow hairs in place. Tell us a little bit about your makeup style. What would you say your makeup style is? I would say it's kind of a hybrid between glam and natural because I cannot go without wearing lashes, but I don't really do anything super colorful. I used to and I don't hate it or anything. It's just, I kind of got bored of it. So <laughs> that's how my makeup style is. Maybe we should do something super colorful today. <laughs> I don't do anything super colorful either. So my personal makeup styles, I'm in between two, so I'm more like a soft glam or a natural everyday makeup. And so today I'm gonna to be doing my typical sort of bronzy gold soft glam makeup look. For eyeshadows, I'm gonna be going in with one of my favorite palettes. This is a Sir John Lion King eyeshadow palette. That's what it looks like inside. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. It's called Zazu, and that's gonna be my transition shade. This is how we look so far, very soft and pretty. I'm gonna define her outer C with this shade right here, and it's called Pride Rock. I'm using a smaller brush to do that, okay? Look up for me. 
little bit more. Okay, that's how we look. We'll go ahead and do the other eye. So I'm just going to use the first brush to blend this out so everything looks seamless, okay? I'm going to go ahead and apply a little shimmer like the one I have on onto her lid. And so I'm going in with Simba, okay? So I got some on my finger like I always do, okay? And so I'm just going to tap it right over her lid and just blend it out, okay? What are some of your favorite colors as far as eyeshadows? I'd say I definitely like pinky, bronze sort of colors, like duochromatic. Okay, so that's how that looks. All right, we'll go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, that's the eyeshadow. That's really, really pretty. But I want everything to look a little bit more seamless. You see this gap here? You can either blend it out or you can use a shade that's in between the two colors to kind of blend it together. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Mufasa. Okay, so I'm picking some up on a flat brush. I'm using that to blend the two shades together. So that's how she looks so far. I'm gonna leave the eyes alone for now and then I'll go back in afterwards and add some highlights to her inner corner. Let's move on to concealing. And for concealing, I generally like to use two shades, one that's really bright and one that's a little closer to the person's complexion, okay? So for that, I'm going in with the Smith & Colt concealer and this is in 200 neutral. And the second concealer is Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, and this is in golden, or number 142. And so it's just doing concealers, nothing extra. She really doesn't have any areas of concern, so you can go crazy with the concealing. So the brighter shade, I generally put it like closer to the inner corner, and the darker shade, I will put more towards the outside of the eye. Going in with the second one, putting the touch right here. She doesn't do much contouring, but I like to contour, so we're gonna do that today. For contour, I'm gonna go in with this Oma Beauty Double Take Contour Stick in Honey Honey. And so to figure out where to contour, you wanna feel for where the jaw kinda hinges and you wanna go for that, that spot, okay? And so I'm gonna blend out the contour first, okay? And I'm blending upwards and into the hairline. Okay, I'm just gonna get the nose and I'm using the side of the brush to do that. I think something we have in common as far as our makeup style is that we both like to slim down our nose. I don't know if I like to slim down. I like to contour, but I kind of like the shape of my nose overall, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer and, and I'm just gonna use a Dampen Beauty blender to do that, okay? Which brand is this? It's just a random drugstore beauty blender. I feel like I've been using brushes a lot lately, so I might have to get back into buying some sponges. Yeah. I have a lot of brushes. I'm always on the hunt for the perfect brush. All right, we're gonna finish blending out this concealer off camera and we'll be right back to set it in place and do some highlights. We're all blended, let's move on to setting powder. And for setting powder today, I'm using this Milk Setting Powder and this is a blur and set setting powder. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick some up on a brush and you can go crazy with this. Have you used this powder before? Uh, I have. I only use this for people who have like oily skin. Would you say it's worth the hype at all? Yeah, for me, it's okay. There are there, there are so many other setting powders that I really love, um, but I just happen to have a whole lot of setting powders in my collection. Out of all your setting powders, what would be your top three? Uh, well, definitely Laura Mercier, but everybody loves that. I have the regular translucent, and I think I have it in like medium deep. I might have it in honey as well. Um, I do love this new minted uh, setting powder that I have. I think it's just beautiful. My third favorite setting powder would be the Tarte Shape Tape setting powder. They have a Shape Tape setting powder. 
which I think is pretty cool. I love it. Okay, so we are nice and matte. I'm gonna go in with a little bronzer just because I'm just obsessed with bronzers overall. And this is one of my new faves and she's been eyeing it lately. So I'm gonna give her a little taste today, okay? <laughs> I actually commented about this on her previous video. Would you say minted is worth the hype? Oh, absolutely. And I love the fact that it is a minority owned brand. Minority meaning like women. There's not a lot of major women owned brands out there. Like people do your research, okay? And the girls are super, edu I should say ladies are educated. They went to Harvard, you know? Hopefully someday you'll go to Harvard. So I can say I have a daughter that went to Harvard, right? This is Yacht Life on her complexion, okay? And I think it's a better bronzer for her than me, but I'm not gonna hand it over, okay? Her birthday's coming up, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Just she, the thought. <laughs> she needs a little sun in her life. <laughs> Everybody needs a little sun in their life. Go pick up this minted bronzer. We have it in Yacht Life and out of office, which is really deep. Okay, so we are bronze. Let's move on to, well, we haven't done our lashes. Let's do some lashes. All right, I love lashes. And okay. I am actually obsessed with these ones by Patrick Top. Well, I need to do a little eyeliner. So let's do a little eyeliner and then we'll do some lashes. For eyeliner, I'm going in with this pure felt tip liner. Okay, let's do the other eye. For lashes, I'm gonna be going in with this House of Lashes X Patrick Ta Lashes. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply some glue to the strip. And then I'll wait about 15 to 20 seconds for it to get tacky. Okay, one lash on, we'll do the other one off camera. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with this Nabla Skin Glazing Highlight in Lucent Jungle. Was this the shade that sold out? I'm not sure. It's a lesser known brand, but the highlight is absolutely amazing. So I'm just bringing that to the highest point of your cheek. Look at that. That is stunning. It has just this beautiful pearlescent kind of glow. Just amazing. Okay, look at that. That's gorgeous. Get a little bit down the center of your nose. Pick it up on my finger. Okay, how pretty is that? A little bit on the cupid's bow, of course. Okay, and then I like to bring whatever is left over and just kind of run it across the forehead. Okay, and I'll use a little bit of this to highlight the brow bones as well. For lips, I'm going in with this L'Oreal Paris lipstick in the shade 908 or Sparkling Rose. And this is a dupe for what? The Dior Lip Glow. For lip liner, I'm going in with this MAC Cosmetics lip liner and this is in the shade Chestnut. So I'm going straight in with the lipstick, which looks pretty natural on her. So that was pretty moisturizing too. So blot your lips together really quickly and smear them so that you get that little sort of ombre effect. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight our inner corners. And for that, I'm going in with this Nabla Miami Lights palette. Okay, and that's really pretty. We'll go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, so this is where we're at. I'm gonna go ahead and do some finishing touches off camera and we'll be right back with the final look. Okay, we are back guys and the look is done. What do you guys think? Does she look like me? Leave it in the comments down below. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by to watch me do another video. This was so much fun. I really enjoyed doing this with her. I want you guys to hop over to her channel. It'll be linked below. Okay, go subscribe. Check out the stuff that she has going on there and check out the video that she did with me, okay? As always, don't forget to like, share with all of your family and friends. Until next time.
are you gonna do this until next time you gotta look down and get a pose you gotta pose there you go okay okay other side <laughs> bye